made quite an impact. Bednarik's hit on Frank was the greatest tackle I've ever seen. Uh, I mean, you know, it's, it's, I used to stay up at nights thinking about hitting a guy like that. Frank was not looking at Ben Eric. He should have been looking for him because Charlie could hit. And it, something's got to give, and it was Frank. Like a cheap shot? Well, it really wasn't. I mean, Ben Eric, uh, had he given me a cheap shot, I probably wouldn't be sitting here. Uh, he, he was just a good, solid football player, a great football player. During the 1950s, football players had to be solid in order to remain standing in a savage world where only the strong survived. There wasn't that much dirty play. It was rough. Yeah, they were rough. They, if they could kill you, they'd kill you honestly. Okay? But nothing dirty. Nothing wrong with drawing a little blood here and there, you know, with the hair. And I like to think that with that approach to the game, attack, 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 I walked out totally unmarked. And I think that that record in itself, 14 years in the pros and four in college and three in high school, is second to none. I have no scratches, no marks, and nothing but a bleeding heart. I think you can coach people to be pretty good tacklers, but I don't know that you can coach people to be great hitters. I think it's an instinct and something that they're born with, that tremendous explosion they have right at the, the point of impact. Yeah. The old saying is, uh, if they don't bite when they're puppies, they're not usually going to bite. And uh, I think w when you get a young player and uh, a guy that comes up and uh, in high school he's a pretty good hitter, or in college he's a pretty good hitter, uh, comes into professional football and it just carries forward. By the time they get to pro football, I think the only thing you control in terms of contact teaching uh, is the emotional side of it. I think if a player is a very intense guy, or the organization becomes more intense on Sunday, the more intense you are, the more apt you are to be a heavy hitter on Sunday. You have to mentally make yourself ready to go out and realize that it's such a physical game that, you know, it's be better to be the, the hitter than the hitty. Nowhere in the NFL is this philosophy practiced more than in the Los Angeles Memorial Coliseum an international showcase for athletic achievement for five decades. Every